Welcome back. We're doing the recording of fifth of November's Kali blessing. Now here we are going to learn a very important concept of serving by making everybody become a part of it. And that's where when majority wins, that's what we say, right? Majority wins where everybody is a part of it and everybody is a team. So similarly over here, God wants us to serve with a very big heart. It doesn't mean that your size of your heart is big. It simply means that your feelings, your place for involving everybody in that, is large enough. So let's see what a supreme creator have to say here. So the father says, "May you be a world server with a big heart and reap the instant and practical fruit of service." Someone who does service with a big heart also reaps the instant fruit of service in a big way. that means you're ready to help others to move ahead you're ready to not just put yourself you're ready to put others ahead of you you're ready to make others more popular more famous more ahead of you in every aspect where people look up to them and you are the background you are the machinery which is running and getting the results you are the background who's running that show everybody is working along with you to make it happen you're the director and the producer of the show as simple as that but you can't direct and produce and do every form of acting right that's why you need the complete show to run and you need different actors with different qualities and different powers and different ways of putting up the show so similarly over here god says whenever you carry out a big task do it with a big heart and also have a big heart in enabling others to become cooperative so everybody wants to give something in life right and when you make something possible when you make a platform possible when you make an idea possible where everybody else can feel important while imparting some value to this world being able to put in their bit what they have come here to do on this earth put in the ideas put in their efforts put in their mind put in the formula to make it happen then this cooperation so god then says do not have a shrunken heart either for yourself or for cooperative souls think that oh they don't want me to succeed or they always think negative or i i am not going to move ahead because of them that's a shrunken heart or they always perform they always behave like this because of which i'm not able to move ahead no god says by your having a big heart dust will turn to gold even if you don't see anything good in somebody there's something which we cannot see which he can see the supreme creator and that's why that person is put over here and none of the souls in this world are without a purpose everybody is fulfilling a purpose right from a minister from a chairman from a municipal chairman to even a cobbler to somebody who's cleaning the gutters also is a part of that chain even that even if that chain is the end portion of the chain but it's still a part or the beginning or the middle and the chain cannot be complete without the shackles in it right so every soul has a part and if we think on those bases then dust becomes gold then you can really see what exactly that person is good enough for and stop focusing on what that person is not good enough for and let your organization work let your family move ahead by noticing those qualities in that soul so god says by your having a big heart dust will turn to gold and weak companions will become strong that means have a heart don't think that you only need champions to make you move ahead you need everybody to have the show you need not the champions but you need to make everybody a champion in their own way to make the show move ahead so there are different kinds of acting right which people do with different scripts in a movie and the movie is complete not because there's just one hero saying all the dialogues the other people also are part of it and that makes it interesting similarly for you in your 
family in the organization every person is important everybody's thoughts are important respect that and when you respect them or when you guide them in the right manner that's the one that will become a gold from dust you're raising that person up you're helping them to crystallize their ideas with your guidance to crystallize their views with your guidance and then it's going to be beautiful never say no accept it so god then says and we companions will become strong success that seemed impossible becomes possible for this surrender i i want to move ahead i want to be in the limelight i want to be somebody who people should praise i want to be someone who wants to do something different it's not i when we say i that means we are only looking limited when we say we want to do something different then that means everybody's different quality needs to be put in together you cannot cook just by putting salt right you have to put other things too so every other ingredient is every other soul with different taste and everybody needs to be involved it's supposed to be unlimited not limited so god says for this surrender the i and you will become a world server who has a big heart and that's what the world needs now somebody who's got a very big heart to accept and accommodate with any kind of soul how do you think a king can rule a kingdom who is not able to accommodate with every kind of soul in his kingdom he has the power to accommodate with every skill that every soul has in a kingdom and that's why he's a king otherwise he is not a king think about it deeply and to know more about it do join the pramakumari seminar course with the swamshanti